There is an ultimate diet for everyone, but you have to understand, understand you're the, we're the problem. So let's take it to me. I have insulin resistance. I, if I look at carbohydrates, I put on weight, my blood glucose shoots up and I become hyperinsulinemic and I go down that route. Obesity, type 2 diabetes, cancer, uh, dementia, that's the route. And that's my metabolism. My father died of the type 2 diabetes. We've got many type 2 diabetics in, in my, the generations before me. So that's what I inherited. Now, the only way I can cope is by not eating carbohydrates. I am carbohydrate, utterly carbohydrate intolerant. Now, if someone has lactose intolerance, you don't feed them milk. You stop giving them milk because they're intolerant. So if you're carbohydrate intolerant, it doesn't make sense to give people carbohydrate. And that, that's a simplistic thing. So I've got the perfect diet for me. It's a carbohydrate-free diet. And I can then be healthy on that diet. The problem is 80% of the developed world are now carbohydrate intolerant. But they're not told that. They're told, oh, you must just moderate your diet and you know, eat the same foods, but less of them. That doesn't work. You have to get rid of the, the foods to which you are intolerant. So that, that's the key for each of us. We have to define, get the diet that A, doesn't make us hungry, and B, allows us to, our metabolism to cope with that diet. And for the vast majority, 80%, it's a carbohydrate-restricted diet or a carbohydrate-free diet. But we can't say that because the ultra-processed foods are carbohydrate, basically, and carbohydrate is the cheapest food stuff. So industry makes lots of money when they can sell you carbohydrate. They make much less money when they give you fat, and they make the least amount of money when they give you protein.